Well, Bobby, a rather comfortable win tonight. Northie hasn't even made a save, really, has he? Oh no, the boys were just brilliant, weren't they? Really, really proud of the boys. Um, they've come out here today, played on the front foot, loads of energy against a very good side, but we were just better all around the park today, so credit to everyone. And not just a clean sheet against East Farrakhan all, Sam Higgins is the league's top scorer. I'm sure you said plenty about him in your pre-match team talk. Are you happy they kept him at bay as well? Yeah, that's why I played Jay in the holding midfield today, because every time they went long, we just slotted him in front, So because he's brilliant back to goal. So we played Jay in there to shield that a little bit, and it worked. And I thought Jay was absolutely unbelievable in that holding role today. He's my man of the match today, by the way. I thought he was brilliant. Credit to Ricky, though, for getting it. Um, I just thought everyone was just outstanding today. We had a couple walking wounded again. I think Ricky and Eddie both hobbled off. Uh, what's the early assessment on those two? 50-50 for um, Thursday and then we've still got I think Saturday as well but uh, we'll get them assessed, they'll be getting some treatment tomorrow, we'll get them assessed and then uh, we'll make a decision Wednesday or even Thursday morning so it, it's catching up on all of us now isn't it so um, but we need to just keep fighting another two games and uh, just keep believing and just keep trying to move up the table and get more points. Happy to get Greeny back in the side as well after his knee injury Saturday? Yeah, really pleased. You know, we're trying to manage Greeny now as well. You know, I doubt I'll play him on Thursday now, so he's ready for Saturday as well. Uh, we're just trying to really manage the players now, game by game. And uh, I didn't make too many changes again tonight, did I? But um, it worked tonight. Some you win, some you lose. But today, they just deserve everything, these boys, because what they're doing is just just incredible. And to get four points in a weekend with uh, how many games we've had, uh, credit to all of them. You've managed to give... Coxie, you come on last 15 minutes and Pratty both arrested and all, so are you pleased with that, that we got the victory even without those two players? Yeah, Pratty was ill tonight, but he still came here, he still drove here because he still wanted to play, but I took that out of his hands, he needed a rest anyway. And coxie has been running on empty the last couple of games, he's been brilliant the last five, six games, so Coxie needed a rest today and um, it worked for us anyway because I was going to play Jay in there tonight to shield um, uh, Higgins because I knew he was a top goal scorer. So uh, management team deserve a lot of credit for what they're doing. Um, you know, we're still analysing the teams, so we're still working hard um, on who opposition and making sure we're ready so uh, credit to them as well tonight. I think Oxford have a game this week before us and also so does that make that does that play in our advantage a little bit because they're also in the same boat as us I guess they're playing Saturday Tuesday Thursday. Uh, yeah, I think everyone's tired now, aren't they? You know, it's who turns up, who starts uh, better, who's the most freshest, who recovers better. Um, they're, they're still going to recover a little bit better than us because we played so many games, you know. So, um, <coughs> no, it's just so important now that we do our work tomorrow on uh, on Whitehawk now, um, tomorrow, So because uh, they're playing pool tomorrow. So, um, now we just got to get keep, you know, concentrate on ourselves and be ready for Thursday. And you happy with the side? Where is... We're both mid-table, not a lot of not a lot of stake, be happy to side, kept those professional standards high and give the fans a performance to cheer for throughout the game. Yeah, uh, one thing that will never drop here is standards. You have to be uh, on your standards. And I said this at half time. I said, I'm not expecting to go and score another two or three, but I am expecting a clean sheet today. And um, standards is brilliant with these boys uh, anyway. And um, I just think they've just showed loads of guts and termination the last couple of weeks. And um, they came out tonight. And I'm really pleased for the fans tonight to score some great goals, some great football. Uh, as you can see now, the balance is starting to come, the shape's starting to come, what we've been trying to you know prepare for and keep building and uh, uh, hopefully if we can keep doing what we're doing that's what the sort of stuff we want to be doing and uh, we kept the ball brilliant tonight at times I just thought it was incredible but when I looked on the team sheet that team we put out tonight even with the players not playing it's just a, uh, an unbelievable team when it ticks but for me most of all today wasn't just about the football it was about the way we kept our shape every player did their individual jobs and Tonight was um, a team that played eight nines and tens to get a win. And I said to them, if you do that, you will win a lot more than what you lose. And for me, it's another home win, isn't it? You know, I'm really proud of this home record. You know, I was looking through it this week and um, I'm very, very proud of this home record. And, uh, you know, I've got one more at home and I would love to finish off with a win um, at home and then, you know, go away, look at it assess a few things and uh, I'm very very proud and we moved up to 11th today if you like I've said if you can't finish first you always want to finish second and tonight I wanted to get into 11th spot and we did and uh, everyone at the football club deserves the credit. Last 10 minutes certainly the last two three games the players have looked jaded and knackered so you happy the last 10 minutes of this one? 
they looked, they looked like they just started the game, didn't they? Still. Yeah, I think what you see tonight as well, even with ten minutes to go, we, we were managing the game better today because uh, you've got to you've got to manage a game uh, really, really well in this league. You know, even if you're one nil up, two nil up, three nil up, and today we're three nil up, but we're still managing the game. And um, yeah, I just just couldn't say the word anymore I'm just so proud of what they're doing for me because we just laughed there I just said I'll give you an extra night off this week you got 72 hours instead of 48 hours so um, I know it's going to be hard again Thursday but we will uh, do our homework on Oxford City who are a great football inside by the way they've had a great season as well done really well in the FA Cup beat us down there um, we sort of know what system they play uh, when they come here so we're in for another tough one and a team that keep the ball so we're going to have to um, keep the ball ourselves and do a lot of work and a lot of energy off the ball but hopefully we can keep going together.